Dr. Mindy here, and on this video, I am bringing you guys a new study, and it's a study done on women, hormones, and intermittent fasting. I cannot wait to share with you guys what the study is showing, and at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you how we can use what we found in this study and apply it to our everyday life. Ready? Here's, here's where the study was done and what they did it on. I don't want you to get confused at what they actually did the study on because there's so much we can learn about hormones from this study. So it was done on PCOS. So if you have PCOS, this is great news. I got really good news for you. If you don't have PCOS and you're really, you're a woman working on balancing your hormones, I've also got great news for you. So stick all the way through this. Just as a reminder, the hallmarks for PCOS are, and they, and they put this in the study, they are the prevalence of metabolic syndrome. So that's obesity, that's heart disease, that's diabetes. Then they went on to say that another hallmark is cardiovascular problems. This is really pertinent for those of you that are postmenopausal, and then type two diabetes. So the reason I wanted to point out the hallmarks of PCOS and the way that they phrased it in this study is that we can use all the information that we can gain from the study to help with diabetes, we can help with cardiovascular problems, and we can overcome metabolic syndrome. You don't have to have PCOS to be able to use intermittent fasting to heal yourself. So really important that you notice that nuance. Okay. Now, what was the study? How was it done? And this is where I get so excited. Okay, it was done on women. Thank you, we need more women studies. It was done on 18 women between the age of 18 and 31. Thank you. I am so exhausted with these studies showing, trying to compare an 18 year old woman to a 65 year old woman. They took the right range of ages, 18 to 31. We got 18 women. This is phenomenal. Like as I was reading through this, I'm like, yes, yes, you did it right. This is fabulous. Now, 15 of those 18 completed the study, which I think is interesting. It means three didn't complete it. Um, perhaps because intermittent fasting, when you first come to it, can be a little tough. Um, but I just want to point that out because that will come into play here at the end. Now, it was a six-week trial. This is also really important because we love fasting, but sometimes we want the results right away. And in this study, they had to go over six weeks of continual intermittent fasting to be able to see a benefit. And the first week, by the way, all they did is stabilize their weight. They didn't want them gaining weight or losing weight. And then they followed that with a five week period of intermittent fasting. It did not say in the study if they changed their food, they just did intermittent fasting, which is super cool because one of my major tenets of fasting is you can take a fasting lifestyle and apply it to any diet. So the, I, I love this was zoned in specifically on fasting. Now, they also, what they did right in this study is 28 different measurements, and a lot of them are hormones they measured. So I love that. They weren't just looking at one marker. They're looking at 28 different things with these 18 women or 15 that, that completed the study. So what changed? This is the most important part. Over this five-week period of intermittent fasting, in these 15 women who completed the study, in these 28 different measurements, here's what changed. Body weight, BMI, body fat mass, body fat percentage, visceral fat, this is the damaging fat, that visceral fat, all of that improved in a five week period. Testosterone, balanced out, amazing. Fasting insulin, insulin resistant markers, and glucose levels all improved and inflammation went down. They measured CRP. That is insane, you guys. And all they did is intermittent fasting over a five week period. First week they stabilized, then made sure that they didn't gain weight, that they were just stabilizing their weight. So really promising. And they saw an improvement in their menstrual cycle. So a lot of these women with PCOS, they don't have a menstrual cycle. So they saw improvement in their menstrual cycle. And this was actually detected in 11 out of the 15. I wanna just be clear, it wasn't all 15. It was 73% of the, of the 15 that completed. Still amazing. 
Okay, so what can we learn from this study? Hopefully you're as excited as I am. So first thing is we know when you intermittent fast over several weeks that you can improve insulin resistance, you can uh, balance hormones like testosterone, you can lower inflammation and you can lose weight. That's amazing. So again, these are hallmarks of chronic disease. Super excited to see that. The question I had when I read the study, and those of you that are following me, you know you're probably already thinking, like what, what part of their menstrual cycle were they doing this? Should they be doing this all the time? The question I had was, should these women, they got great results with intermittent fasting, so should they intermittent fast all the time? And I wanna bring this back to what the next level of the study should be and the next level of your knowledge. When women come to fasting, there should be three phases you go through. The first phase is just learn to fast. That's what these 15 women did. They just learned to intermittent fast and boom, look at the changes that they made. So this is very encouraging for those of you that are new. Second stage is once you learn how to fast, I want you to learn how to get into ketosis. So get like a keto mojo, uh, get a continuous glucose monitor, something that is gonna help you understand if you are in ketosis, again, the pinprick one, our favorite is Keto Mojo. If you wanna know more about it, just put Keto Mojo in the comments and we'll send you a link on how you can order one of those. So learn to fast, then learn to get into ketosis. Then I want you to learn how to fast for your cycle. So if you're new to my channel and you've never heard that before, this is what we're teaching women how to do is how to take the principles of fasting and map them to her hormonal cycle. But we don't just jump into that principle. We start with teaching women how to fast. Then we teach women how to get into ketosis. Then we teach women how to map this to their cycle. So really encouraging uh, study. I'm so grateful that it was done on women. I hope you guys are as excited about it as I am. And if you guys are at this third phase where you're ready to learn how to fast for your cycle, come join me in my academy. Just put academy in the comments. We'll send you a link. I have a whole course on what I call the fasting circle where I show in a 30 day period how you can fast, go in and out of six different fasts in a 30 day period so that you are maximizing every single hormone that is surging through your body, you're losing weight, you're bringing inflammation down, you're getting out of these chronic disease markers. Women, we've got to fast for our cycle and we're teaching you that in my Reset Academy. So just put Reset Academy in the comments and we'll send you a link. And as always, share your fasting story below so everybody can learn from your experience. And if you love this video, share it out into the world. Women, this is more proof we need to fast. Okay, if you've made it this far in the video, it's a sign you definitely need to subscribe. If you love that video and you wanna dive into more of the information I have on this channel, go to this video. So if we're eating the same way all the time, then we're gonna get stuck and we might actually gain weight.